Want help to grow your business? Download Bryn, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Bryn.ai or search the App Store today. Communicating with your team can be a tough thing to do. Well, if that's the case for you, you have come to the right place. This guy's name is Carl Taylor. I'm Pete Quist. You're watching Teach Me Tech. No, I didn't watch The Bachelor on TV. Oh, hi. Welcome to another episode of Teach Me Tech. You missed a good episode. <laughs> this is Carl Taylor from Automation Agency. Thanks for joining us. Pleasure. Carl was here last week talking about WordPress. This week, we are talking about how to set up and use Slack. This is part one of a another two-part series. Thanks for joining us, Carl. My this pleasure. Is Slack is something that you use? It is something I use, yeah. Okay, before we get down and dirty with the details, Teach Me Tech, of course, is the show where we take new or complex ideas and tools, generally online. We break them down, we learn them, and we show you how to use them at home nice and easy. And the thing that I love about this episode is the fact that I don't know how to use Slack. So Carl is going to teach me tech as well. Good idea. Sounds good to me. Okay, there's two th quick things before we get started. Number one is I want you to follow along at home. If you've never watched Teach Me Tech before, these sessions are highly practical. So grab yourself that second screen, whether it's a laptop or a tablet or an abacus, whatever it might be, follow along at home. You too can actually follow the steps that we do and you can implement it straight away. And the second thing is ask and share. We want you to get social with Teach Me Tech. We want you to use the hashtag Teach Me Tech and you can get involved in the conversation. That's what a hashtag, hashtag. Like. Thanks, Carl. Very important. Uh, hashtag Teach Me Tech will get you involved in the conversation. We'll try and look at as many hashtags as we possibly can uh, at any stage you're watching the episode. Of course, we do have the Business Blueprint community there to help you out too. Share your stories, share your challenges, share your successes. We want to hear what's going on. Get involved on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, even Google Plus. Even Google Plus. Even Google Plus. LinkedIn, whatever it might be, and we will chat socially there. So, what are we going to cover today? Well, let's go through them right now. First of all, we are going to cover what is Slack and the reason why it was created. We're going to take a look at how Slack differs to services like Skype and Google Hangouts. Mm -hmm. The top three reasons why you should consider using Slack. How to get started quickly and set up your free account. Oh, I love that word free. There's something magic about free. A quick guided tour of the user interface and what everything does. How to set up your profile and invite others to join your team. What are channels all about and how do you create them? And finally, how to start your first chat and use it successfully. So, so let's get started. Let's and uh, we're going to kick off with what is Slack? and the reason why it was created. So Carl, a little bit of background, what the heck is Slack? Yeah, so Slack is a communication or chat program or collaboration program. It kind of came about from the developers who used to work at Skype. Um, and one of the key issues that Skype used to face, they fixed it now, but a big issue you had is if you were communicating with someone, um, on your mobile device, you had Skype, and then you had your computer open. If I sent you a message on Skype from my mobile device, and you sent me messages, when I would go back to my computer, they'd all be unread messages, and I have to scroll before we couldn't just pick up where we left off. The fact I read it on my phone, it didn't, it didn't know between the devices and sync them together. It was really frustrating. So th when these guys who used to work at Skype went off and did their own thing, that was a key problem they were looking to solve, and that kind of just evolved and turned into Slack, which is now as it is, which we'll show you in a moment. Ooh, renegades. So it sounds like it's, it's one of these ideas that was born out of frustration from things that actual users would like to see, mm. which is great. So that's Slack and why it was created, but uh, how does it differ these days to services, you know, not specifically, but services like Skype and Google Hangouts, because they're all communication services. How does Slack differ? I think one of the key things that is different about Slack is it's kind of putting everything in one place. Um, you know, if on Skype, you know, I, I have a, a big team and uh, we're constantly communicating. They're all a virtual team. We don't work in an office. And, and so if I was using Skype to keep track of conversations, I'd have to have all these little group chats and it can get really messy and hard to keep track of. Whereas uh, Slack really just brings it all into one place. It removes internal email. It does a whole bunch of great stuff. So the key difference is it just puts it all in one place, makes it central, easily to search. Lots of great value there. So I guess a good question right here would be, why did you choose Slack for your business? 
key reason I chose Slack was just that. I was sick of internal emails going back and forth all the time. Um, I get enough emails as it is. I didn't want to kind of have to keep track of everything. And to be honest, there are emails, and maybe you guys do it too, where they end up staying in the inbox, but then another 100 emails come in and that conversation gets lost. Uh, I'm guilty of it. I know I am. A and Slack really helps stay on top of those kinds of things. Uh, so it means all internal communications is just one place. All my team's there. We can send direct messages and keep it private. We can have group conversations, and I can go back and search the entire history from the day I first started on Slack. I can see every message that was ever sent internally, um, publicly, whatever. And of course, we'll get into taking a look at the user interface in just a second, but obviously the user interface is different to other services as well. Correct. Yeah. Something that you find is nice and clean, easy to use. Yeah. Is there anything specific that you liked about the user interface? Oh, just It's simple, easy to use. Uh, it takes a little bit of probably understanding. We're going to talk about that, what's channels and things. But ultimately, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's clean, as you say, simple, easy to use. Great. So this is my favorite thing, is what are the top three reasons that you or people watching should consider using Slack? Because they're probably there going, maybe they, have, maybe they haven't heard, out of, heard of Skype or Hangouts. Maybe they haven't. Maybe they have. Maybe they're wondering, why would we do a complete Teach Me Tech episode on something similar to those massive companies? Tell me, what are those top three reasons people should I think should we've consider? already touched on it, to be honest. It's, it really comes down to if you're got, if you've got a, even if you're a small team, but if you've got internal communication going back and forward and keeping comments on, on files and all this stuff just going internally round and round in emails, then there's a high chance that you'll get a lot of value out of Slack. Um, the other thing is if, if searching and being able to find those old com conversations, like if you're not jumping between having Skype and email and then you're like, oh, where was that password they sent me or that conversation? And you've now got to search between two tools. If you just know you're using Slack, then you've got a great central place. Um, I think also, you know, if security of wanting to be able to lock out Stuff, you know, at times staff, you, they leave us. And so we might want to be able to remove them just like we do our email accounts. Well, Skype history and things is on their computer. They don't, it's not stored and you don't have control over that. Um, and a bonus reason, I suppose, is if you've got that virtual team, for us, we don't have an actual physical office. Here we get together, um, you know, at least once a year. But the virtual office is our Slack uh, team, really. It, it's what creates our our virtual office as if every day we're chatting away and, and catching up and having conversations. It's a lot cheaper than having a bricks and mortar office. It is. And we're going to look at the getting started with the free version of Slack as well, which, mm -hmm. you know, like I said, I love the idea of free. We'll get to that later. Let me ask you specifically in your use, how much time do you generally spend per day, per week in Slack? Oh, uh, for me, uh, I, I try not to be in it all day, but you know, as when you're a busy company like we are, I am in it pretty well all day. My team are in it all day. When they're on, when they, it's like, as I said, coming to the office. When they come to work, the, the way they show that they're in work is they log into Slack. They're there. They're now available. I can see they're online and, and that's kind of them. And when they leave, they, they switch off. And the next question would be, how much time do you think you save using Slack collaborating with your team like this? Oh, heaps. And, and it's the time, I think it's even less on the time saving, at least for me personally. It's more in just, I know exactly where to go. I have, the, I have it available on my, my iPhone, it's available on my computer, and it's, it all syncs together seamlessly. And you know, uh, there's also ways to send voice memos into it for the team. And just, it just everything's in one place. It's just so simple. So it's more peace of mind. Were you looking for a new communication tool when you came across Slack? How did that come about? No, actually, that's a good question. I wasn't looking for anything new. I, I was using Skype at the time, and I think I read a blog post that talked about this Slack tool, and it's very big in web developers. A lot of software companies use it, and it's just, it's, you know, been growing and growing in awareness, and more companies are using it. And I, I thought I'd download it, try it out, and all, first I was a little confused, but once I got my head around it, I was like, wow, I saw the benefits that it, that it gave. And what do the team members think of it? Oh, they love it. Like, it's, it's great. So why do they love it though? Again, like they feel, again, because I've got a virtual team, they feel like they're part of the company. They feel like we're in an office together. Um, yeah, we have our Skype calls and different things still, but it, it, all the chat, it's just every day there's chat going on almost every second, so. So looking at our adopted business, which we'll set up a Slack account for in a moment, which is Kids Sun Shirts. Uh, it's a, obviously a very small, it's a brand new business. Um, one virtual staff member, um, you know, Anthony and Louise, the couple that have started it. So it's a small team. Do you see Slack fitting into there? 
Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, it's going to suit some businesses and not others. Um, but even if you are a small team, and I mean, Slack's site, they, I'm pretty sure they talk about how, you know, even a, ma a man of one could use it if you just want to keep track of notes and, and brain dumping and have a conversation with yourself, if you like. Um, because you can, and we'll see this when we get into channels, but you can really kind of segment your conversations rather than all being in one, um, one email chain or something. So is that like a ninja use for people that, it actually would be a way to kind of keep your thoughts in, in order? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, there's a feature inside Slack called Slackbot, and we'll, I don't know if we'll co cover that in this episode, but, you maybe, know... Maybe next episode. Yeah. I've it, actually it seen it on the agenda, but shh, don't it, tell anyone. It, it is seriously my, like, extended memory of I have a thought, that's where I leave it, uh, like, just notes for myself. Fantastic. So coming up uh, in just a moment after the break, we're going to take a look at how to get started and quickly set up a free account. This bloke is Carl Taylor. I'm Pete Quist. You are watching Teach Me Tech. Welcome back. You are watching Teach Me Tech here on Business Blueprint. Remember, if you want to get involved in the conversation, to continue enjoying this presentation, download Brin, the world's first business advisor in your pocket. To find out more, visit Brin.ai or search the App Store today.